Hi, this is Steve. This is Bob. This is Jay. We are Alpha Quadrant 6, a science fiction review show. On uh, this week's episode, we are reviewing season four of Stranger Things. I'm loving it. I'm loving it too. I'm loving it. Spoiler free review is it's really good. Thumbs up. Definitely watch the, it. The actors are getting older and taller. And they're I'm actually. Taller. They all have acting skills. Yeah. Like they're not just yeah. young actors. They're they're becoming like good. That transitions good. hard. Yes, you go it is. to preteen to like late teenage teenage, which is what they've done during yeah. these four seasons. There's no guarantee that that they're going to work as yeah. older child actors. But I mean, I think it's probably a, a sign of good directing and writing. Sure. And that, yeah, it's not, it's not all not, them, not but to, they're but they're doing. They have it. the acting chops too. But still, you know how like, if you don't direct them properly, at me, I just mean actors. Um, but especially of different ages, uh, they, even a good actor can can be miserable. I mean, just look at Anakin Skywalker, right? So what we do know is that there's going to be five seasons of this show. Yeah, right? and, that, and only five. And that's it. Yeah. That that was their arc. Um, so we're in season four. So we have you know you know one and a half seasons left. Um, after watching half of the season, I am absolutely in love with this with this year's yeah. with this season's uh, episode so far. I think it's the best season since one. Yeah, to be honest with you, it's yeah. very strong. It's very strong. Very strong. Yeah. Story is very compelling. The I like the villain, mm-hmm. um, and again, I think the the you know the acting is is very good. You have a lot of different stuff going on in this. Like it's a dynamic season. There's a lot. There's a, a yeah. lot of different things happening. Um, we get more backstory on eleven. Oh boy. Yeah, that, oh boy! Which was good because we we had been given glimpses, and we were, uh, there were this is the spoiler free version, so I won't say too much. But uh, they, they flesh it out in an unpredictable and interesting way. Let me just yep. say that, okay. which is good. It wasn't, it wasn't predictable. My recommendation is definitely watch it, but make sure that you have a good memory of the first three seasons because you you want yeah. that information in your head because of the addition to the backstory. What I like to do, especially if it's been a while, like this has been two years since the last yeah, season. Yeah, almost. Yeah. I like I'd like to binge either the most recent season season or the whole series up to the point where like we binged. The first two seasons of The Boys before we watched the third season. I just binged the first two seasons. I, can't, right I, don't, I don't have, have time for that. Preparation for the third one. I didn't have time to do it for Stranger Things um, because I do think I remember them them well. But uh, I, I could see, I, yeah, I probably should have watched like at least season three before I started or, watching. But there's other three. options. You don't. If you don't have the time to binge like this nut over here, what you could do is you could watch the last episode right before yeah. it because that that, that, that sums it up. Too. You could put. You could also go to YouTube. YouTube, man. YouTube will give you a recap. Yeah. So that do that as multiple. Well. I watch multiple time. recaps when when a new season right. is starting. I watch multiple because they hit different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you're confused for an episode or two. Like, yeah. well, who was that guy again? Yeah. Didn't this, you know, you try. You're like it's slowly coming back. Well, when you watch a recap, it's amazing how much you forget. You're yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Like there's yeah. a million, amazing. million discoveries. That's, totally, that's my point. And if you have, if you watch season one and just never even saw two and three, watch two and three. They are good. They, the Duffers They're are solid. killing it. They're solid. Watch it and then jump yeah. back into four. They yeah. didn't create the genre, but they kind of did. It's funny. It's like you know, this is a this is a thriller horror genre, mm-hmm. but they created this retro vibe that I, yeah. I've never really seen yeah. before, and they carry it through very well. I mean, you could tell it's the same writers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Who are these guys? We got. Yeah, I, want to I don't know much about them. I'd really like to learn more yeah, about I love them. them. I've never seen an are. interview or anything. Right? It's an Why? interesting time, you know, the 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 1980s. Now we're getting into the late 1980s. We'll be getting into the 1990s. Uh, very, you know, it, obviously part of it is just this is the typical nostalgia delay, right? We're you know mm. we're looking back, you know, 40 years or so, you know, into the 1980s. And, you know, they're obviously playing to the boomer generation, which is, you know, or Gen X, which is us. Um, but also, when you think about it, it's like that transition from pre-internet to internet, like pre-World oh Wide Web God. and World Wide Web computers Huge. are on the massively steep part of the curve. Cell phones and the smartphones are, haven't come in yet. It's actually a really great time for horror because you have to be isolated. Like, yeah. And yes. you find yourself thinking all the time, just whip out your cell phone and make a phone call. It's like, but you can't do that. Just, and so it is. Yeah, like, that thing. Like, it's, 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 it's a web to places to talk yeah. to people. You so know, the, it's just everything's harder and it raises the stakes. And it's actually for, for our now current generation, it's like we get anxious because none of them have cell phones yeah. and they can't just Google stuff. 
Um, and every yeah, so it's really interesting time period in which to set a horror you know themed show. Plus, it's it, they do a great job of creating the eighties. Absolutely, and with oh, the music man, and everything. It. Yeah, it. I mean, they basically created like the eighties nostalgia, you yeah. know, the whole thing. Yeah, uh, they did such a great job. Just I, I, it's just you know, there are some series where like even if I'm binging through it, or especially if I'm binging through it, I'll skip the intro. And then there are ah. some shows where I watch the intro <laughs> every, every time. time. And yeah. this is one of those shows I love watching the intro. When the music comes it's in, it's so good. it sets the stage really well yeah. and it gets you almost in the mood yeah, for, for totally. the episode. That almost. So yeah. our recommendation right. is definitely watch season four. Uh, you know, watch previews like we said. If you haven't, if you if you need a refresher, it's totally worth it. And it is it is definitely one of, if not the second best season so far. Yeah, nothing is going to capture the magic yeah. of the first season, but this comes as close as you can get. I yeah. think. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, full spoilers. Spoiler alert. We're going to talk about details of season. Of the what's the first half of season four? They it's one of those divided seasons where they're going to pick back up in July uh, to do the rest of the season. But do you know how many episodes are coming in July? How many? Two. Just two. But the first one is an hour and twenty five minutes. The second one is two and a half hours. Okay, so it's, it's really longest, like, like four episode so ever. It's basically like four more episodes. Yeah, right. Then. So yeah. it's which is which is not as I was hoping for another six or seven, but that's Th that's an that's interesting crazy. storytelling thing to talk about. Right, like the, the choice of how long the episodes, like instead of them yeah, going, break you know, why episodes? not break it up? Because you know, they're mindful of the fact that episodes have to have chapters and have to yes. have, you know, yeah. they have to have acts movements and, yeah. and acts, right? So that does mm. say something about because sometimes what they do is they just do like a to be continued kind of episode. Yeah. This way, they're just giving you the whole thing and yeah. not two giving and you two and a half hours, dude. No, that's no, a movie. Yeah, no, for, yeah. There's not no parallels. No, nothing. Yeah. You look at the biggest. The biggest finale episodes, or like like The Lost, or even or Mash, you know, millions and millions of people. None of them were even close to two and a yeah, half yeah. hours. It's, it's a so juggernaut. Let's talk about a couple a couple of the things that I, I'll say to uh, to comment on the quality, right? Mm -hmm. So most everything I thought was excellent. There was a couple of things that stood out to me though that I, that bothered me a little bit. So the way that um, Bobby Brown was mm -hmm. was acting as Eleven. When she yeah. was in school, Very seemed a little weird and flat to me, and I was trying to think if if it was because Eleven wasn't brought up normally. Didn't yeah. have, that's it. But but that's it. But it still felt. She wasn't socialized. And no, but it still felt odd. Like I just felt like the actress. I think was, it felt odd because the actress is older and the character is older. But she so when she was not socialized and she was awkward and scared and everything, and she was like ten years old, it felt. Fine, but now that she's in high school and she's acting essentially the same way, it feels awkward. Yeah, it does. But feel I think awkward. it's it fits with the character. She's she's screwed up. You well, know? And she I also lost thinking. her powers too. So yes, that was a bummer. Like, yeah, yeah. really, yeah, no yeah, powers. Yeah. Uh, it could be a mental so block. We don't really know what this is. This was the best writing in the show, in my opinion. When Eleven's backstory crisscrosses with the new villain, mm -hmm. that yes. was great. Bringing wow, those two man, things together that was such a cool. Wow. So. The the all of the flashbacks that we've been shown led us to believe that Eleven went on a killing rampage. Yeah, you know, and it, it was perfectly plausible with her power, with the yeah, way she was, was treated. It was like, yes, you know, they you put, didn't doubt it. You, you did didn't not doubt, doubt it. It yeah. wasn't like, did that happen? It was like, yeah, she went on a killing rampage. What, what other explanation? Could it was the whole plausible explanation. <laughs> and now we see, and you know, sometimes when you try to do this flip on the audience, it's cheap, and yeah. you feel yeah. feel cheated. Not this time. Not this this time. was like, yeah. Totally, this makes sense. It was really some other person that then went on the killing rampage, and that other person, well, she ended the rampage by banishing him to the upside down. Well, no, didn't she create the upside down kind? No, of? I don't think no, she created. No. She, she created punched. a portal to the upside down and banished right. him there, and he becomes the supervillain. Right, but we for don't this know, episode we, for this season. There's a lot of things we don't know, though. Yeah, we don't know if if her creating that portal. Could have been the beginning of yeah. portals being created, yeah. right? Oh, I, I think, think so. so. My Question. idea Absolutely. was my understanding of of the way that the story is going so far is that this institute was was testing these children, creating these children in a sense, right? Yeah. To have these powers to fight the Russians. Yeah, as spies. Yeah. Right. No, no, no. I, I, I the, this is where I'm, I'm, I'm a little unclear, right? And yeah. you know, correct me, guys, because this is a complicated story. 
I think that they found out that the Russians were able to punch into this other portal and they were trying to, to get, have people operatives that can handle that level of you know, craziness, right? Yeah, we don't know that, and I didn't infer that. You didn't feel well, that was What coming? we do know is that they were training super spies, you know, with telekinesis and mental remote, powers. Remote but, did they, but did they know and about the upside down? Maybe, no, I don't think. I think, that, I think that 11 banishing number one, you know, to the upside down was the first connection. Yeah, okay. I think that started the whole thing. Yeah, maybe thing. And we'll, hopefully we'll, we'll find see. out more. I mean, yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not, we're not certain about that, but that would be my assumption based on what the information we've been given so far. Now, I was certain, I, in the end of last season, I was like, Hopper's dead. I thought he was gone. No, but we knew at the end of last season that he wasn't dead because you got a little flesh of him in the, well, in the Russian prison. But then I, okay, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I, I, I was getting ahead of myself. Okay. I thought he was dead until we saw him. Until we saw that he was dead. I did register. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. my God, they killed him. But then, then he's in the jail. Right. But then I'm like, but he could be in the upside down now. Yeah. Just because it seemed like a Russian jail, does, you know, because every there's a copy right. of everything, right? So you don't right. know. So then we, I just want to talk about his, his subplot yeah, for a minute. Yeah, which has been great. I, I really liked that whole thing, like, you know, bringing the other two characters along on that ride and have them go and get him out of the jail mm -hmm. and everything. Was, as, as impossible as that actually would have been, it was, it was a fun ride. And it failed. Yeah. Yeah, it did fail. But I loved when they had to fight the Gorgon. Yes. Oh, my God. Was that fight freaking awesome? And I loved, like, his connection to the to the guard. Yeah. And the two of them yep. helping each other. And he knew, he knew that the fire, you know, mm -hmm. it was like, it was right on the edge. They were almost yeah. dead. They were almost dead. And he, and he finally <laughs> made, you know, his plan with the lighter and the, and the alcohol worked. Yeah. It was, yeah. I loved the other guards who, like, this is my favorite part, when they still think they have a chance. Yeah. Like, they, they think they're actually fighting it. They're just, you know, they're just food. But they don't need, you know, little did they know, though, Hopper, Hopper has fought this monster many times. Yeah, right. And he would, that, he was formidable. I mean, that, that creature was formidable, oh. fast and strong and almost unbeatable, unless you happen to know some of the weaknesses. Wow, he was in, it was an impressive fight. I don't think we saw him fight that It wasn't really a fight. It was just him eating his food. Yeah. And that's the thing. It wasn't right. really like, a fight. It was an evisceration. Yeah. Or yes, but he looked even more formidable than I had even yeah. remembered yeah. in terms yeah. of just combating something like that. But one of my favorite aspects of the entire season is the murders. Because oh, yeah. how many murders have we seen in our lives? Thousands. Five, thousands. Thousand? I mean, it's like so many murders. I want to be, I want it to be a fly on that wall and be like, all right, guys. You know, we need an iconic murder that everyone's going to experience when they get killed. What are we going to do? And I just loved it so much because they float in the air and then the, all the limbs break at a weird angle and then the jaw breaks, which gives that iconic, scary, creepy look on your face. Yeah, yeah. To me, that and was like, just, oh, just out. Yeah. and then the eye thing happened. But that, to that, me, was, that was genuinely was, creepy. And it is hard. How hard is it to at do At this that? point, Come to on. do something genuinely creepy. That was something to yeah. be applauded because I loved it every damn time I saw it. <laughs> like, yeah, look at that. It was so creepy. It's, and it's cool. super visceral. It was a good touch to the Yeah, end. definitely. So they're just broken a neck or dumb, it would have been so lame to do so many conventional deaths. Yes. That was like, it's so dramatic and visceral. Yeah. Loved it, loved it. Yeah, yeah, they did a great and, job. And how, creep, creep factor very high. The, the idea that, that you know, number one, like what are we calling the villain, right? Because I'm, I'm just been referring to him as number one. Well, yeah, it's Vecna, right? It's Vecna, yeah. Well, that's their D&D &D name. That's their D&D &D name, but that's, 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 that's part of the, the That's name. part of the theme of That's like the Gorgon is a D&D &D yeah. name, yeah. So that's, Vecna, um, when he kills someone, he creates a portal. Yeah. Which is, whoa, like that's a big deal. Each of the kill sites is a portal now. Which yeah. means he's super powerful. Yeah. Um, I happened to, to see a time-lapse video of the actor getting put into the body makeup, and wow. I mean, it's full body makeup. Full body, yeah. You know, like Bob, Bob, first thing Bob said was, but they had pre together pieces, right? Yeah, they did. They had big pieces that he was slipping on and everything, but it was, it was I think it was a four to five hour makeup at job. At least, dude. At yeah. least if it's a full body like that, yep. at least four to five, dude. It's, that's fast, actually. So um, I, I felt like the action in it was great, right? So you have, yeah. there is a lot of action. The, the plot of this season is very interesting. It's moving to lots of different places with lots of li different things going on. There's Which is risky though, because you've got the, you've got the major groups of, that are off by themselves and Eleven is on her own essentially. Yeah. And they're so, they're, they're so far apart geographically that they can't run into each other. So it's kind of, it's risky though, because I, mean, I think you know, that they jumping. choreographed it well though. Yeah, I, I didn't they mind did. it. Some the people did, but I didn't one, mind it. One of the central contrivances of 
Stranger Things as a as a series is that these group of kids is saving the world. Right? Yeah, like we're right. the grown ups, we're the the authorities and all of this. Well, Hopper's yeah. helping, and you know, I know they're, they're, they're getting yeah, but help, mainly the kids, but mainly the kids, and that's hard to sustain. But I, they managed to somehow Sometimes do it. Right, they right. somehow right. managed in this season to not like make, take you out because yeah. it, it makes it's, sense that these kids would be the only ones who really right. would know what's going on and, it, and it, believe it and do something about right. it. Right. We didn't. I never said once. Give me a break. Yeah. Right. You yeah. Know? And well, I would well, say that. Trust we have a me, low I would threshold say that, for saying right? that. But it, yeah, it's the power of the writing is so good that you believe their relationships. Yeah. And the relationships are strong, but they're also moderately juvenile and they're, they're, they're complicated. They've done a yeah. really good job of making it all kind of somehow feel real, yeah. right? It's, it's, it's believable. Yeah, and the, like, yeah, like the, the local cops, it's just, they're small town cops. They are plausibly incompetent, Yeah, yeah. right? It, again, it's not like not give me a break. In, not comically so, just, yeah, that, that tracks. That feels, that feels right and that would absolutely yeah. put the kids in, the, in this situation. If anything, the new chief of police, I thought he was pretty competent. He he seems to be doing yeah. what you would expect yeah. someone to yeah. be doing that has their you know has experience you know he doesn't fully understand what's really going no, on. How yeah. can that, he? How can he? Well, that's yeah. the other thing. Yeah, you, you wouldn't expect them to leap to. Oh yeah, yeah, we're connected to some supernatural underworld. Yeah. The um, um but you know the the fact that um, <laughs> you know some of the characters are, are in, uh, like more danger, which I think is really an interesting thing to do. Like I like how like. The, the villain like latches onto you and then basically you got a countdown clock yeah. and he's messing with you. And he's very psychological too, which I think is another really cool thing. Like he's not, he's playing with his prey. Yes. He's, and he's getting some type of pleasure out of it. But we don't know what he wants. We really mm -hmm. don't know. Like, does he want to come to, you know, the, the normal world and dominate there? Like we don't really get what something his- Something bad. <laughs> something, it's all coming. Like there's still so yeah. much we don't know that's in, that's coming out of these, you know, next, yeah. you know, four hours or whatever, how many, you know, what is it about three, three and a half, three, four three, hours? Four. Yeah. Um, so I, I highly recommend it. I definitely think that you guys, um, if you haven't seen it, you know, you shouldn't listen to this review, but uh, <laughs> if you are watching it, I'm sure you're enjoying it. So we'd love to hear what you guys think about this season. You can email us at info at alpha quadrant and the number six dot com. Also, are you ready to close? Yeah, I'm ready. Guys, yeah. tell me, give me your final thoughts on the uh, season. This season is an A plus for me. Love um, it, love it. Watch yeah. it, watch it. So if you enjoyed this episode or if you'd like to see more episodes or listen to our podcast or become a patron, you can go to alpha quadrant and the number six.com and we'll see you next week. Yeah.